Yo, what's going on, guys? Then my for simple snippets, and I'm back with another video tutorial on core Java programming. And today's topic is going to be the while loop iterative slash looping control statement. So in the previous video tutorial, we saw the for loop, and if you have missed that video, you can check it out. So with that being said, let's get started with today's topic. So while loop is one more looping or iterative control statement, just like for loop, but it is used in different times or it is used in different cases. So let's study a little bit of theoretical aspect of what a while loop is and then we'll see a practical program. So make sure you watch this video till the end so that you see the practical part as well. So in Java, a while loop is used to iterate a part of the program several times. So this is pretty much similar to what we saw in the for loop in the previous video. But if the number of iterations is not fixed, it is recommended to use while loop. So this is the major difference between while loop and for loop. In for loop, we already know how many times we want to iterate a particular number of statements. But in while loop, we do not know that. So this is the syntax for while loop. It's a little bit more simpler than the for loop. There is no initialization step. So in, in while loop, you just write down while, which is a keyword. Then in opening and closing round brackets, you just give the condition and then the code executes till we check for that condition. So we have to have an iteration and we have to have a check ourselves. So there is no check by default in the opening and closing round brackets that we have to do explicitly. So let's see the flow diagram of while loop. It is a little bit different than the for loop. So as you can see, it is much simpler than the for loop. We directly have the condition. You start off from this point, then we have the condition. And as long as the condition is true, these statements will be executed. And once the condition becomes false, it would be exited. So again, once the statement is executed one time, the condition will be checked. If the condition is false, it will directly exit the loop or it will execute the statements till the condition is true. So this is how the flow works behind the scenes. And this is just a visual representation. So let's move on to the programming part so that we better understand how it works. So quickly open up your NetBeans IDE so that you can program along with me. I've already created a project. You can see that Java application four. go ahead and create a new project. And I hope you know how to create a new project by now. So this is the question that we're going to program. So write a program to print first 10 even numbers starting from two. So we have to print the first 10 even numbers starting from two. So what we have to do is we have to print two, we have to print four, six, eight, ten, and the first 10 even numbers are supposed to be printed. So I suppose we have to print from two to 20, right? So this we are going to be achieving using a while loop. So let's start off with creating a variable. I'll say int even number. So this is the name that I'm giving for my variable. I'll say it is equal to two because we're going to be starting off with two. Now I'm also going to create an iterating variable, which I'm going to use to iterate in the while loop. So since it is not provided by default in the while loop condition, we have to explicitly create it. I'll say int i. Now I'm going to create the while loop. I'm saying I'm going to assign i is equal to one, or let's say I'm going to assign i equals to zero. And then I'll start off with the while loop. So this is how the syntax goes. I'll say while i is less than 10. Then in the opening and closing curly braces of the while loop, I'm going to say system dot out dot print ln uh, inside that I'm going to say even number. So I'm printing even number. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say even number is equal to even number plus two. And lastly, what I'm going to say is I'm going to say I plus plus. So let me just save this and try to run this and let's see if this works. So there you go. You can see we have printed 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and 20. So this is the first 10 numbers which are even starting from 2 to 20. So we've achieved our program. Let's see what exactly happened first. So we started off with variable even number. We gave it value 2. We created one more i variable which we are going to use to iterate in the while loop. Now the condition is i less than 10. So in the step one, let's let me just first open the notepad. Let's try to dry run it. So step number one, i is equal to zero, right? For the first time, i is zero because we have initialized it to zero. So in step number one, i is equal to zero. So is i less than 10? Yes, because i is zero. So what we print system dot out dot print ln even number. So in step number one, even number is two. So we got two, right? So output is equal to two. Now what happened is even number is equal to even number plus two which essentially means two is equal to two plus two. So this four is now being transferred into the even number. So even number is equal to two plus two. Basically what we're doing is we're taking value of even number. We are adding it with two and then we are saving the new value into the even number only. 
which means we are overwriting the event number value with the new value of 4. So now event number becomes 4. So this is all happening in step number 1 itself. And then we are doing i++, plus plus, which means that i was 0. Now i has become 1. So this is all what is happening in step number 1. Let's see what happens in step number 2. Now i here is 1 because we just said i++. Plus plus. Now it will check the condition is i less than 10. Yes, because i is still 1, right? So i 1 is less than 10, which means that this condition is true. So this while block will be executed. Now system.out.println will print even number which is holding a value of 4. So output will be 4. Now again even number is equal to even number plus 2. So now even number value is 4. So 4 plus 2 is 6. So 6 will be overwritten or overwritten in the even number. So now even number is has become 6. Again i plus plus. So i value has become 2. So this is step number 2, right? So moving on to step number 3. So this is the entire process that is going to happen 10 times. So let's see we are at step number 10 now. So I'm directly jumping to step 10. Here i has become 10. No, here i has become 9 because we started off with 0, right? So after 10 steps, i has to become 9 because 0 is also considered 1 step. So when step number 1, i was 0. So when step number 10, i would be 9, right? So when i is equal to 9, i is still less than 10. The even number would have become 20 because we are just keeping on adding and adding. So even number is equal to 20 because we are at the last step and then we say i++. plus plus. So i++ plus plus will make i is equal to 10. Now when we move on to step number 11, that is the 11th iteration, it will check i is less than 10, but i has become 10. So 10 is not less than 10. It is equal to 10, but it is not less than 10, right? Which means that this statement has become false. So this while loop will stop executing. So it will come outside this while loop and the output will be 10 different iterations with 10, 10 different values of even numbers starting from 2. So I hope this program was understandable and we also saw step by step what happens behind the scenes. And one thing to note that if I do not give this i++, then i value will never be greater than 10, which means i will never be incremented and this will result in an infinite loop. So infinite loop is when the output is going on printing. If you want, I can just show you. If I just comment this out, save this and if I run this, the output will go on and on. So you can see the output is going on and on and the program will stop. This will make, this will crash your program basically. So I just stopped it because it would have got printed on and on and then my application would have crashed. So one thing to note when we are experimenting with loops is to avoid this infinite loop which because it will crash your program in between. So take care while you are using while loop or for loop or any kind of loops wherein there has to be an exit statement or exit condition has to be true at some point. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood the working of while loop and basically the only difference between a while loop and for loop is that while loop is used when we do not know the number of iterations. Now here, in this question, we already knew that we had to print first 10 even numbers. But there might be a condition or there might be a situation in which we do not know how many number of times we want to iterate or perform iterations. So remember in that case, we have to use while loop and not for loop. And in for loop, we already need to know how many number of times you want to iterate. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new educational video. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial. Peace.